Hello, my beautiful Aries, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of September the 8th up until September the 15th. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. With Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. Hello, hello, my beautiful Aries. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my beautiful Aries. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my Aries are here seeking to find this week regarding their situation. What do we have for Aries? What guidance do we have for Aries this week? All right. So Aries, please do remember that energies are fluid. So if I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And this can also be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placements. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And remember that energies are fluid. As I've already mentioned, it is a general reading. So feel free to reverse the energies if you feel that they fit better uh, in the reverse, okay? Uh, and also remember that energies, you know, do come in from family members, from friends, from coworkers, whatever. So, you know, there's a lot of energies that you might pick up on where you say, oh, well, that's my friend. That sounds like a best friend of mine. Or, oh, that sounds like so-and-so's, you know, um, uh, partner or whatever, okay? So just make sure that, you know, you can reverse the energies and they are fluid. Just make sure to keep that in mind. All right, Aries, let's see what you're starting with. You are starting with the dominant energy this week of the drum roll. Oh my gosh, the universe is favoring you this week. You are number one for the universe. Oh my gosh, everything working out in your favor. You are here being magnified by this beautiful glow up. You are coming into this glow up energy, Aries. My goodness. What have you guys been doing? Here you are feeling unrestricted, very bold energy here with the energies of the universe working at your favor. Unbeatable, unrestrained, unrestricted with such an edge. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? So magnetic. You know, the energies of the universe just working in your favor. All of your wishes coming in, coming true. The universe having its hand at play. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful energies to start your reading. Let's see what exactly is going on here. Some of you guys might be dealing with uh, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. Some of you guys are coming into a union, a beautiful union or reunion. I feel like some of you guys are going to have to make a decision this week. Decisions, decisions. Why? Because... I feel like somebody is opening up their heart to you. Look at this. Reunion is on the way. A union, a reunion being called to change. This person that you are dealing with is being called to change. Guess for who? None other than for you. Absolutely beautiful. They're rushing in. They're coming in your way. They're wanting to sweep you off your feet. Aries, don't go away from me. Please, Aries, answer me. Don't block me off, okay? I do sense that they are sensing your switch in energy. They are sensing this switch in energy of, you know, Aries just not being very caring anymore, okay? I do sense that you cared a lot once about this person, but now you are just kind of feeling fed up with waiting, okay? You are no longer dealing with the energy of waiting. And guess what? This person cannot move on from you. This person cannot let you go. They have an emotional attachment to you. Yeah, you know what? They did try. They did indeed try to move on from you. They thought that the grass would be greener on the other side, but guess what? They forgot 
They forgot to bring their happiness with them and their happiness is being represented by none other than you. Because guess what? They have love in their heart. Even though they're blocked off emotionally, it doesn't matter. The truth of the matter is that you rule their emotions. I mean, it's right here. It's right here. You rule their emotions. You are here in their heart. They have a space for you and that space takes up their entire heart. There is no other space that they can make for anything else or anyone else. It's going to be a little bit difficult for this person to come into something as sort of like offering commitment, full commitment, but guess what? It's on the way. It's already on the cards. It's here on the horizon. It is on the way. Right now, this week, we're going to see what's challenging this person from making this love offer, this love commitment, even though they want to. It's in the background. It's in their subconscious mind. It's lingering, okay? It's there. Look at this. It's there. They want to make this commitment. They want to come in passionately. I mean, they have so much passion for you. I don't know what you guys have been doing. Like I said, a glow up, a glow up for Aries. Either you've been working out on your finances, you feel independent, you you literally maybe have a physical glow up. Maybe some of you guys had something done to you. Okay, some something is going on that is making you look and feel absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, and amazing. Yeah. I do sense that Aries, you took back your power, you took back your attention, and you said to yourself, you know what? I am not lowering my standards, not for this person, not for anybody that is not worth my time. And this person, guess what? They are getting scared. They're getting scared that you are no longer fighting for this connection the way that you used to. Yeah, sure, maybe you guys are still communicating, but you know what? You're no longer communicating with them the way that you used to communicate with them. I do sense that this person sabotaged this connection because of their fear. They have a fear of commitment. They have a fear of getting hurt, okay? Because guess what? They are dealing with you. They know that the universe has you favoring. It's like you, the universe favors you is what I'm trying to say. The universe favors you, Aries, okay? Especially this week. Anything that you want to create in your life, you better get started on manifesting because the universe has its hand at play this week, okay? Now let's jump into your clarifiers because this person, even though they want commitment, I do sense here that there is this energy of Aries. Is it possible to forgive and forget I'm not sure whether this question is something that they are asking themselves or if they are asking you. Somebody here is going to ask for some kind of forgiveness, okay? They're trying to forget the past. And you know what, Aries? You just want this person. What you want from this person is to let go of anything negative that happened in the past. It's like... You're like, my gosh, can we just get over whatever was said in the past, whatever happened in the past? Can you just forgive and forget, you know, and let's just move forward. But look at this. This person is feeling regretful. They feel regretful. They feel uneasy in their emotions. And look at this. There is so much love in this connection. This person loves you. They are very attracted to you physically. They see and sense what it would be like to be with you intimately. And if you guys have not yet been intimate, this person is having visualizations. They have, they are having dreams about you, okay? Right now, Aries, I do sense that you are focused on yourself. But look at this. You represent this person's wish fulfillment. The reason why this person has not yet gotten their own wish fulfillment is because you took back the attention. You took back your power. You said to yourself, you know what? I'm not lowering my standards. If I want what I want, then I will go for what I want and I will end up getting what I want. Because if I lower my standards, said Aries, I'm not going to get what I want. And Aries is here to be happy, to enjoy their own bliss, to enjoy their own journey, not for selfish reasons, but because you know that you've already done the waiting, you know that you've already done the work, and you are no longer willing to fight for someone who is not willing to fight for you. Wow, absolutely beautiful. But this person cannot let go of you, okay? They fantasize about you. They love you very much. They find you very irresistible, very, very attractive. They know that you get all of the attention, okay? And I feel like this person is very afraid that you're going to end up leaving them out in the cold. I feel like this person feels a little bit of a bondage to their old addictive behavior, their old self-sabotaging self, self -sabotaging ways. It seems as though 
this person has been dealing with some self-destructive behavior that has not let them move forward with you the way that you want them to, okay? But let's go ahead and get some clarifiers as to what this Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. Oh my God, look at this. I mean, literally, Aries, you are so empowered. I cannot make this up. You are coming in with the energy of the magician, okay? And the world card. Are you kidding me? Wow, this is manifestation, the manifestation of a lifetime. You are here standing in your power, in your strength, unapologetically being you, magnificently being you. The moment that this person thinks they have you, they've got a hold of you, guess what? You change on them. You rise again like that phoenix rising from the ashes. You have risen again. You are thriving. This person did not expect this 180 from you, okay? And you are shocking them. They are in shock and they are just so scared to impulsively jump back into your life because they see this glow up. I mean, look at this. Look at how gorgeous, how handsome you are. You have the power of the universe at your favor, okay? Working for you because the universe knows that you will invest in the right things for the right outcome for everybody involved, okay? Wow, absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Happiness, joy, bliss. You are running towards this horse on your journey. It's sort of like jumping onto your new life, okay? You have this new life path ahead of you and you are not giving in. You are not giving up for anybody. You are surrounded by joy. You are running into this new, new path uh, full of happiness, full of joy, like this little baby. Look at this. This little baby does not even care that they don't have any clothes on. You know, it's like that little baby with their diapers on running towards their parents when they first see them. You know, like those babies that are like, you know, being babysat by their grandparents or whatever. They see their parents and they're just full of joy. They run to them. This person is running towards you, but guess what? They can't show it, which kind of sucks, right? They can't show. This is how happy they are. And this is how happy you will be once this person starts reciprocating your way. Because you know what? The universe has its hand up. This person is blocked off emotionally right now. Something happened between you two or between them and somebody else. And this person's trying to get rid of something, um, something from their past. I do sense here that they have been, you know, when you first met this person, they were very bored. They felt stuck. And then you just kind of like sparked that joy within them. They just felt like, oh my God, Aries, you are just kind of like lightening up this fire within them, okay? But right now, they're feeling a little bit closed off emotionally, but look at this. They're gonna come in with a gesture of love, with some kind of apology. I'm sorry, Aries, can we work this out? Maybe not that directly, but they're gonna come in with some kind of communication. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and see uh, what's going on with this. Um, I wanna know what's this Four of Wands. Wow, what is this beautiful union here? even though this person cannot move on from you. Yeah, they're a little bit stubborn. You're dealing with a person who's a little bit stubborn, but they are gonna come in with a gesture of love once again. Look at these repetitive energies. Oh my God, you guys heard me shuffle, okay? This person does not believe in themselves. They have a low, it's like they have a lack of self-esteem. They are going to send you subliminal messages, so do expect that, okay? Because this person sees the glow up that you have transformed into, okay? And this person is just being cautious because of their fearsome thoughts. They kind of feel that their fears are real. They're like, their fears are telling them, no, don't go after Aries because Aries is just moving forward. They have a lot of attention, you know, and they're going to end up leaving you out in the cold like they did before or like, you know, like somebody did before in the past. It doesn't have to be you. This person is just projecting this onto you. Okay. This could possibly be even childhood issues, okay? Bondage to some kind of childhood issues, but this person is going to start feeling very, very guilty. They just don't want to impulsively jump into this rash decision, Aries, because they don't want to end up getting hurt, okay? So they're using a little bit, I'm going to tell you this, okay? They're using a little bit of control over you, whether it's controlling you by their silence, controlling you by, you know, their words that they say, or just controlling you by pulling away their energy. This is all because they're they're afraid of you. They're afraid that they love you so damn much, okay? That they're going to just fall head over heels for you and just going to you're just going to end up cr like they're going to end up crashing and burning. That's what they are afraid of. That's what they think, okay? It's not what you're going to do. 
you know, but it's what they are afraid of. They cannot seem to find the right words to say to you is what I'm picking up on. Okay. I do sense here that some of them are really bad at commitment. And I do sense that again, it's a possibility that right now they cannot handle your words because they know that you are very empowered. You are speaking very, very directly. Aries, when you speak up and when you are just unbothered, okay, you are very direct and this person knows that. So they are right now trying to just keep themselves to themselves because they know that you are unrestrained, okay, and that you are unstoppable with your energy. Absolutely magical and beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's get one more for, um, let's see what this Six of Swords is in the reverse. What is the Six of Swords? Yeah, see, there has been an injustice, an imbalance in the situation, okay? Because this person doesn't know how to handle you right now. I feel like, Aries, you've changed. Aries, you are now being very wise about your decisions. You're no longer being manipulated or controlled by anybody or anything. And you are very mature. You are very wise. You are tapping into your wisdom, okay? You're no longer letting the desire of that you have for this person to lead you to your to your own fall, which is what was happening before. I do sense here that this person, you know, kind of knew that you liked them. And so they used to do little things here and there. And so that used to lead you to going crazy, to losing your mind, to just kind of like overthinking. Okay. But you're no longer letting this person lead you to your fall. You're no longer letting this person block your energy, twist your energy, twist your growth, because they don't have the confidence within themselves to pursue you. You no longer longer are dealing with settling for less or lowering your standards. Yes, you are new in this journey. Yes, you are be beginning a brand new journey. Okay. But you are so confident within yourself because you are tapped into the energies of joy. You are tapped into the energies of the universe working in your favor. You know that you have God source energy, your guides and angels guiding your every move, guiding your every word, guiding your every decision. Okay. And you are no longer waiting for this person an absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy. And look at this at the bottom of the deck. Look at you. This is you standing here in the nine of pentacles, in your power, in your strength. You don't have to ask anyone for anything. You know how to take care of yourself. You are looking beautiful, gorgeous. Look at this, a glow up. What did I tell you? A glow up. I don't know what you have been doing, either a diet plan. You've been working out a lot. Maybe you've been socializing. You have more friends. You have family, you know, all of the love around you. You have a lot of attention on social media. Maybe you have been growing your business, whatever it is. You know that everything is working out for you. You are here in your bliss, in your joy, in your happiness, glowing up, looking and feeling absolutely beautiful. You know, you have options. You have options here. Yeah, you might actually have two options. You might actually have more than one option. And that's why this person doesn't know whether to trust you or not, okay? Maybe you rejected this person in the past. Maybe this person rejected you. Take it as it resonates. But there's one person here who's not sure whether to trust the other. There are some trust issues here that are making the situation right now a little bit imbalanced. But look at you. You are no longer caught up in this mental mind game. You are no longer letting this person drive the car, basically. You are no longer letting this person drive this relationship. You have already gained clarity, wisdom. You grab one of these swords, you cut off that blindfold, and guess what? You are free. You are free from burden. You are free from stress. You are in your power and in your strength. I feel like for some of you guys, you might have lost yourself. You might have lost yourself in this connection in some kind of connection in the past. And whether this is somebody new, brand new, trying to come in, okay, or whether this is a person that you are dealing with, whichever one, whichever scenario is playing out for you right now, you are no longer being blindsided by anybody else's bondage to their own addictive behaviors. Okay. You're no longer letting any of anybody's person's projections come over you. Okay. Any manipulation come your way. You are free. You are free. You are now seeing very, very clearly and you are in your bold energies, unbreakable. You are unbreakable. Okay. Very magnetic. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week. What do my guides and angels have for my beautiful Aries? Let's see. Wow. Moon cycles. This person is very sensitive right now. Okay. So if you have not heard from them, they are 
trying to work their, uh, you know, their sensitivities. They're trying to work on their depression. They're trying to see, oh my God, what do I do? It's like one moment they want Aries. They want to pursue you. They want to come after you. And the next, they're just so scared. They are just so scared. As soon as they say hi to you and you just like, you radiate this even through text messages, even just a simple hello back as a reply to this person. It's sort of like, it just, it just, it drives them. It drives them crazy because they're just like, oh my God, Aries is just so in their power. They're so in their strength. They're so confident. You know what I mean? So this person goes back and forth in their, in their sort of like emotional realm, right? It's like, yes, I want to pursue Aries. Yes, I want to go after them. And then they just kind of like back away. You know, when they hear from you, they back away. When they see a picture of you being posted on social media, they back away because you're getting so much attention. They, they're looking, they're literally looking through every single comment, looking through every single like in your photos to see if anybody that might be threatening to them is liking your pictures, okay? Or vice versa, take it as it resonates. But here we have, there's nothing to worry about, Aries. You are safe. And this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So be prepared. This person will want commitment. Yes, maybe they're going to come in a little bit shy, okay? Do expect a little bit of shy communication, but communication nonetheless, because this person wants reunion with you. They want reunion with you and they want everything. They want to manifest everything with you. And remember, whatever it is that you've been working on, whether it's projects, work, whatever, school, it's coming your way. You have the guidance, the protection of the universe, of your angels, of God and source energy at your back. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful reading, my dearest Aries, but I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so so much and i'll see you next time bye bye